Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kara and I post weekly videos about life living in a converted school bus. Last week I was watching one of the YouTube channels that I subscribe to. So quick shout out to Loving Life Hitched Up. Thank you guys for the awesome idea. They participated in uh, this or that challenge, the RV edition. And I just thought it was really fun. So this week, I wanted to create a challenge similar to that. So this is the this or that challenge schoolie edition. So I've borrowed some of the questions from their list and just removed some that were RV specific. So here we go. The this or that challenge schoolie edition. Question number one, campground or boondocking? So for me right now, I'm going to say campground uh, because my bus is not fully equipped with solar. I only have a generator. It's really loud. Uh, so it's just easier for me to be plugged in. But I'm hoping to be fully equipped with solar sometime in the near future. Uh, and then my preference will probably change to boondocking. Question two, composting toilet or black tank? I have a composting toilet. Um, I think it's very easy to maintain. I've never had to deal with a black water tank, so uh, I'm not saying one is better than the other, but the composting toilet is very easy, so that's my choice. Question three, solar or generator? So again, right now, I'm going to say generator because that's what I have, but hopefully in the near future, um, I'll have the financial ability to completely get the bus running on solar, and solar would definitely be my preference. Question four, 1,000 trails or KOA? I've only ever stayed at a KOA before, so I'm going to pick KOA. But with that being said, I do prefer to stay at state parks or uh, some other remote locations. I usually use the app The Dirt to find where I'll be staying. Question five, Harvest Host or Walmart parking lot? Again, I've never stayed in a Harvest Host parking lot, so I'm going to go with Walmart. Um, I don't really have to boondock in parking lots that often, so I've only stayed in a Walmart parking lot a couple of times as well, uh, but it is very convenient always having that option, and Walmarts are just about everywhere, so so yeah, Walmart. Question six, state park or national park? I'm going to say state park. There's usually less people, uh, less crowds, which is just what I prefer. Question seven, beach or mountains? This is hard. Uh, I'm going to say both. I love both, uh, especially living in the north. Going to the beach, especially during the winter, is an amazing experience. I love hiking, so the mountains is also an amazing experience. So that is an absolute tie for me. Question eight. Propane or wood-burning stove? I have a wood-burning stove. I love my wood-burning stove. Um, that's definitely the answer for me. Number nine, cats or dogs? So I'm going to have to go with cats. I have three cats. I love them. Um, but I'm also a dog person. Right now, I just don't have the time or the space for another animal. So cats are the winner right now, but much love to dogs also. <laughs> Question 10, Bucky's or Loves? I've never been to a Bucky's, so I'm going to say Loves. Question 11, Desert or Snow? Uh, I was born and raised in the Northwest, so I'm very familiar with snow and I'm not a fan of it. So I'm going to say desert, 100% desert. Question 12, pull through or back in? Definitely a pull through. Uh, driving something so large is very challenging for me. I usually make my husband do the driving and the parking and the pulling in or backing in. But uh, he also says he prefers to pull through. So I'm going to say pull through. Question 13, fishing or hiking? It's definitely hiking. Uh, hiking is one of my favorite things in the world to do. So that one wins. Question 14, camping alone or camping with friends? Uh, I'm going to say camping alone. As long as my husband's there, I enjoy his company. Not a lot of our friends uh, enjoy camping. So camping alone. Question 15, Winters in Florida or winters in Arizona. Uh, for me, Florida wins. Uh, that's where my parents are, so I can visit them. Winters in Florida. Question 16, having a washer and dryer in the schoolie or washing in the sink and letting air dry. Uh, both the 
is fine with me. I do not have a washer and dryer, but where I am parked nine months out of the year, there's a laundry mat on site. So I usually use that, but when the weather's nice, I have no problems just washing my clothes off in the sink and hanging them up to dry outside. Question 17, planned vacation or spontaneous vacations? So I am definitely a planner. I'm going to go planned vacations all the way. The Dirt, I love that app. Uh, it helps me plan all my road trips. So planned. Question 18, indoor shower or outdoor shower? I do have an indoor shower inside the bus, so I'm going to say indoor shower. Question 19, move weekly or move monthly? For me, it's definitely move monthly. Uh, driving is not my favorite part about bus life. So yes, we like to take our time to get to our destination, but once we're there, we usually like to stay for a while. And last, question 20, hot spot for Wi-Fi in the bus or using the RV park Wi-Fi? And for me, it's definitely having a hot spot in the bus. Uh, I work online, so I'm dependent on having good internet. And a lot of times the Wi-Fi at RV parks are not really up to par for what I need. So for me, it's having a hotspot. So that wraps up the This or That Challenge Schoolie Edition. And I'm going to tag two more people that I subscribe to that I'd just like to get to know better in hopes that they make a video similar to this and keep the challenge going. So Sugar Bear Bus and Cat and Dog on Wheels. I hope you enjoyed this challenge and I hope you enjoyed my video. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.